I'm here to show you our pet ozone shower, the parts and how to set it up and operate it. It's pretty simple, let's get started. So the first thing, of course, is the shower itself. So we're gonna take this shower unit and we're gonna stick it onto our bracket. Our bracket needs to be adhered to the wall. Um, you can use the screws to do that. So this simply mounts in the back here. There's some slots and they'll, they'll uh, line up with these. And it very easily attaches there. There's a couple of parts and pieces here. We have a couple adapters. So this is for an adapter for the sink. Depending on what type of sink you have, if you have a utility sink, you may not need an adapter, um, but we don't. So we're gonna use the adapter. Um, and then this is an adapter piece to connect our inlet tubing or hose to our pet ozone shower. Um, I'll show you how to do that. And then uh, of course we have a power cord and we have a shower head as well. Um, so for our sink, we're going to need to put a few of these rubber washers, actually three of them, inside of, of this little thread here so that it won't leak. So I'll go ahead and attach that. Really just going to, again, it'll depend on what type of a sink you have as to how whether or not you need this and how this works, but it's just gonna screw on. I might be able to get away with just hand tightening it, but I'm gonna take channel lock and just give it a few more turns to make sure that I don't get any leaking here once the uh, water starts running. Okay, our next step is actually to take our, our little adapter here and there are two uh, ports or inlet and outlet on the bottom of your pet ozone shower. This is going to go on the one that says inlet. I'll take that off the wall, let you see that. So we have our inlet and our outlet. And uh, I'm just gonna tighten that down. Put this back on. And I'm gonna give it a little, little bit more to make sure that again, we don't get any leaking. I'll take our hose here and I will hook this up to our sink. So I'm gonna take this side. Really, you can do either, whichever one makes sense for you as far as which side you're gonna hook up where. Uh, hook that up to our sink. Should be able to just hand tighten these two and uh, make sure they're not gonna leak. Okay, now next I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower head and I'm gonna connect that. That does not need an adapter. And I will snug that up with a crescent wrench here. said crescent wrench, this is a channel lock. You could use a crescent wrench, it'd probably be a better tool for that. Um, and then finally, we're gonna go ahead and take a power cord, plug that in. And on the side here, there is a power inlet. You can see we've now got power running to this. Um, you could actually get away without a, without a tool on this. You have this little blue um, piece which is intended to, to help tighten that onto the pet ozone shower. So at this point, all our setup is complete. Um, I need to make sure that this is pointed in the right direction or I'm gonna get really wet. Turn my water on, you can hear it kind of filling up in there, see it coming out. Now, on the display panel here, you're gonna have your water temperature, you're gonna have the amount of time that this has run for, and you're gonna also have uh, a couple different indicators on here. One is UV, so 
There's ultraviolet light that's purifying this water inside. There's also ozone. Okay, there's a very small amount of ozone, a very, uh, yeah, just a very low concentration of ozone that's produced with this shower. And uh, so your, your indicator is here. You can turn the ozone on and off. Um, you can decrease the flow rate of your water through there. A decreased flow rate, if you have the ozone running, is going to mean a higher concentration of ozone in the, in the water. A faster flow rate is going to mean a lower concentration of ozone in the water. The difference that that makes is negligible. So as far as flow rate goes, I wouldn't be concerned about you know, having it set at a specific flow rate to operate this. Um, turn my ozone back on. And uh, again, you can see the time now. It's been a minute, so that's showing up there. Um, and to turn it off, I just stop the flow, auto shut off, you're good to go. You don't have to touch anything, do anything else. You just, next patient or next uh, client comes in, um, or you get your dog at your house and you're, you're wanting to clean it really well. Um, this is a great tool to be able to treat or, or clean your animal with ozone, ozonated fluid.